Workplace bullying is an insidious issue that many employees face daily. It transcends industries, affecting workers in offices, factories, schools and hospitals alike. The consequences of bullying in the workplace are not only emotional, but also financial. Companies lose billions annually due to decreased productivity, increased absenteeism and higher staff turnover rates. Imagine starting your day with a sense of dread, knowing that your work environment is a hostile one. This is the reality for many victims of workplace bullying. Their tormentors may be supervisors, colleagues or even subordinates. The effects ripple outwards, impacting not just the individual but the entire team and ultimately the organization's culture. Studies have shown that workplace bullying can lead to severe mental health issues, including anxiety, depression, and in some cases, even post-traumatic stress disorder. The Workplace Bullying Institute's 2021 report revealed that 30% of workers in the US experience abusive conduct at work. This statistic sheds light on how common and damaging bullying can be. While it might be easy for some to dismiss bullying as mere office politics or personality clashes, its impact is profound and far-reaching. Addressing this issue head-on is crucial for fostering a healthy working environment where employees can thrive without fear of harassment or intimidation. Workplace bullying is defined as repeated, health-harming mistreatment of one or more persons by one or more perpetrators. It includes behaviour that is threatening, humiliating or intimidating, as well as work sabotage and verbal abuse. This creates a toxic work environment that impairs job performance and damages employee morale. To understand workplace bullying better, it's essential to recognise its forms. It can be overt, such as yelling and verbal abuse, or covert, like spreading malicious rumours or undermining someone's work. Both forms are equally harmful and contribute to a hostile work environment. The bully's intention is often to exert power and control over the victim. In the book The No Asshole Rule by Robert Sutton, he describes workplace bullies as individuals who systematically demean and humiliate their colleagues. Sutton's work underscores the importance of creating environments where such behaviour is not tolerated. According to a 2019 study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology, individuals who face bullying are more likely to feel isolated and disconnected from their work. It's important to note that workplace bullying is not always obvious. It can manifest in subtle ways, such as exclusion from meetings, giving impossible deadlines or constant criticism. Recognising these behaviours is the first step towards addressing and eliminating bullying from the workplace. In today's fast-paced and competitive work culture, the relevance of addressing workplace bullying cannot be overstated. As organisations strive to innovate and excel, the well-being of their employees is paramount. A supportive and respectful work environment is not just a moral imperative. It also drives productivity and creativity. Bullying in the workplace has long-term effects that extend beyond the immediate victim. It can erode trust within teams, create a culture of fear and lower overall organisational performance. A 2022 survey by LinkedIn found that 75% of employees consider a respectful workplace to be a key factor in job satisfaction and retention. Furthermore, with the rise of remote working, new forms of bullying have emerged, making it even more crucial to address this issue. Cyberbullying, for instance, has become a significant concern as more interactions occur online. This new landscape requires updated strategies and robust policies to protect employees. Addressing workplace bullying proactively demonstrates a company's commitment to its employees' well-being. It also aligns with the broader societal movement towards mental health awareness and support. By tackling bullying head-on, organisations can build a reputation as desirable places to work, attracting top talent and fostering a culture of respect and collaboration. Physical workplace bullying, while perhaps less common than other forms, is a serious and overt manifestation of hostile behaviour. 
It can range from overt actions such as pushing or hitting to more subtle forms like invading personal space. Physical bullying is often easier to identify but is equally detrimental to the victim's well-being and workplace harmony. One example of physical bullying could be a supervisor who consistently uses their size or physical presence to intimidate employees. This behaviour can create an environment of fear, making it difficult for the victim to perform their duties effectively. The physical intimidation tactics can extend to blocking exits, standing over someone while they work, or deliberately bumping into them in hallways. In some cases, physical bullying can escalate into actual violence. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, workplace violence is a leading cause of job-related fatalities in the US. This statistic underscores the potential severity of physical bullying and the need for stringent measures to prevent and address it. Employers have a legal and ethical obligation to provide a safe working environment. This includes taking proactive steps to prevent physical bullying, clear policies, regular training and an open-door policy for reporting incidents can help mitigate this issue. Ensuring that employees feel safe and supported is crucial for maintaining a productive and positive workplace atmosphere. Verbal forms of workplace bullying. Verbal bullying is one of the most prevalent forms of workplace harassment. It includes behaviours such as yelling, name-calling and making derogatory remarks or threats. Verbal bullying can create a toxic work environment and significantly impact an employee's mental health and job performance. An example of verbal bullying might be a manager who frequently berates an employee in front of their colleagues. This public humiliation not only affects the victim but also sets a negative example for the rest of the team, fostering a culture of fear and disrespect. The constant criticism and demeaning comments can erode the victim's self-esteem and confidence. According to a 2020 study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, verbal abuse in the workplace is linked to increased levels of anxiety, depression and stress among employees. This research highlights the profound impact that verbal bullying can have on an individual's mental health and overall well-being. To combat verbal bullying, organisations must establish clear communication channels and encourage a culture of respect. Training programmes on effective communication and conflict resolution can help employees understand the importance of respectful interactions. Additionally, providing support resources such as counselling services can assist victims in coping with the effects of verbal abuse. Historical examples of workplace bullying. Throughout history, there have been numerous documented cases of workplace bullying that illustrate the destructive nature of this behaviour. One such example is the infamous case of Enron, where a culture of bullying and intimidation contributed to the company's dramatic downfall. Executives would publicly berate employees and foster an environment where fear and humiliation were used as motivational tools. Another historical example is the case of Henry Ford's assembly lines. While Ford revolutionised manufacturing, his management style was often criticised for being excessively harsh and controlling. Workers were subjected to strict supervision and harsh penalties for minor infractions, creating a stressful and oppressive work environment. These historical examples serve as cautionary tales of how bullying behaviour can permeate an organisation and lead to its ultimate failure. They highlight the importance of promoting a healthy and respectful workplace culture to ensure long-term success and sustainability. By learning from these past mistakes, modern organisations can implement policies and practices that prevent bullying and promote a positive work environment. This includes fostering open communication, encouraging employee feedback and addressing issues promptly and effectively. The immediate impact of physical and verbal bullying. The immediate impact of physical and verbal bullying in the workplace can be devastating for the victims. It can lead to a range of emotional and physical health issues, including stress, anxiety and depression. Victims may also experience a decline in their job performance, 
increased absenteeism and a higher likelihood of resigning from their positions. When employees face bullying, their focus shifts from their work tasks to coping with the abusive behaviour. This distraction can lead to mistakes, decreased productivity and a general decline in work quality. Additionally, the stress and anxiety caused by bullying can result in physical health problems, such as headaches, high blood pressure and sleep disturbances. A 2018 study published in the Journal of Occupational Health Psychology found that employees who experience workplace bullying are more likely to suffer from chronic stress and other health issues. This research underscores the urgent need for organisations to address bullying and provide support for affected employees. To mitigate the immediate impact of bullying, organisations should implement comprehensive anti-bullying policies and establish support systems for victims. Providing access to mental health resources such as counselling and stress management programmes can help employees cope with the effects of bullying and maintain their well-being. Creating a culture of respect and support is essential for fostering a healthy and productive work environment. Understanding relational bullying in the workplace. Relational bullying, also known as social or emotional bullying, involves behaviours that harm someone's social standing or relationships. Unlike physical or verbal bullying, relational bullying is often subtle and manipulative, making it harder to detect and address. It includes tactics such as exclusion, gossiping and social manipulation. For instance, a common form of relational bullying is deliberately excluding someone from team meetings or social gatherings. This exclusion can ostracise the victim, leaving them feeling isolated and unsupported. Another tactic might involve spreading rumours or false information to damage someone's reputation and undermine their credibility within the workplace. Relational bullying can be particularly damaging because it attacks the victim's social connections and sense of belonging. According to a 2019 study in the Journal of Business Ethics, employees who experience relational bullying are more likely to feel disconnected and demotivated, which can lead to decreased job satisfaction and higher turnover rates. Addressing relational bullying requires a nuanced approach. Organisations must foster an inclusive culture where all employees feel valued and included. Policies should explicitly address relational bullying and training should educate employees on recognising and preventing such behaviours. Encouraging open dialogue and providing support resources can help mitigate the impact of relational bullying on individuals and teams. Real-life examples of relational bullying Historical and contemporary examples of relational bullying highlight its prevalence across various industries. One notable case is that of the tech industry, where competitive environments can sometimes foster exclusionary practices. For instance, in certain high-profile Silicon Valley companies, there have been reports of bro-culture environments that marginalise female employees and those from minority backgrounds. Another example can be found in the legal profession. In some law firms, junior associates may be excluded from key meetings or important cases as a form of relational bullying. This exclusion not only hampers their professional growth, but also affects their confidence and engagement with their work. In the healthcare sector, relational bullying can manifest in the form of nurses or junior doctors being left out of critical decision-making processes or being the subject of malicious gossip. Such behaviour not only impacts the victim's morale, but can also affect patient care and teamwork. These examples highlight the insidious nature of relational bullying and the importance of proactive measures to address it. Organisations must strive to create a culture of respect and inclusion, where all employees feel empowered to contribute and succeed. By addressing relational bullying, companies can enhance employee well-being and foster a positive work environment. The rise of cyberbullying in modern workplaces. With the increasing reliance on digital communication, cyberbullying has emerged as a significant concern in modern workplaces. Cyberbullying involves using digital platforms to harass, intimidate or embarrass someone. 
It can occur through emails, social media, messaging apps, or even workplace collaboration tools. An example of cyberbullying might involve a manager sending derogatory emails to an employee or publicly criticizing their work on a team messaging platform. Another form could be the spread of malicious rumors or false information about someone through social media or internal communication channels. The anonymity and distance provided by digital communication can embolden bullies, making it easier for them to engage in harmful behaviors without immediate consequences. According to a 2020 report by the European Agency for Safety and Health at Work, cyberbullying is associated with increased stress, anxiety and depression among employees, making it a serious issue that needs to be addressed. Organisations must implement robust cyberbullying policies and educate employees on the responsible use of digital communication tools. Monitoring digital interactions and providing clear reporting mechanisms can help identify and address cyberbullying incidents promptly. Creating a culture of respect and accountability in digital spaces is essential for preventing cyberbullying and ensuring a safe and supportive work environment. Case studies of cyberbullying and its consequences. Real-world case studies illustrate the severe impact of cyberbullying on individuals and organizations. One prominent example is the case of a multinational corporation where an employee faced relentless cyberbullying from colleagues after a disagreement during a virtual meeting. The harassment included derogatory emails, exclusion from team chats, and malicious posts on social media. This led to the employee experiencing severe anxiety and eventually resigning from the position. Another case involved a remote team where a manager used a project management tool to publicly criticize and belittle an employee's work. The public nature of the criticism created a hostile environment, leading to the employee feeling humiliated and isolated. This not only affected the victim, but also created a culture of fear among the rest of the team. These cases highlight the importance of addressing cyberbullying swiftly and effectively. Organisations must ensure that digital communication tools are used responsibly and that any form of cyber harassment is promptly addressed. Providing training on digital etiquette and creating a supportive reporting environment can help mitigate the impact of cyberbullying. Understanding psychological bullying. Psychological bullying also known as emotional or mental bullying, involves tactics that manipulate, belittle or control a person's mental state. This form of bullying can be particularly insidious because it often leaves no visible scars, but can deeply affect the victim's psychological well-being. It can include behaviours such as gaslighting, constant criticism and the silent treatment. Gaslighting, for instance, is a common tactic where the bully makes the victim doubt their own memories, perceptions or sanity. This can be done through persistent denial, misdirection, contradiction or lying. Over time, the victim may start to question their own reality, leading to significant emotional distress and confusion. Constant criticism is another method used in psychological bullying. This involves the bully continually finding faults with the victim's work or personal characteristics, regardless of their actual performance. This relentless negativity can erode the victim's confidence and self-esteem, making them feel incapable and worthless. The silent treatment is a subtler but equally damaging form of psychological bullying. The bully deliberately ignores the victim, refusing to communicate or acknowledge them. This exclusion can make the victim feel invisible and rejected, contributing to feelings of isolation and helplessness. Understanding these tactics is essential for recognising and addressing psychological bullying in the workplace. Case studies of psychological bullying in the workplace Case studies can provide valuable insights into the real-world impact of psychological bullying. One notable example is the case of a financial analyst at a major investment firm. The analyst faced constant criticism from their supervisor, who would undermine their accomplishments and belittle their efforts in front of colleagues. Despite their high performance, 
the analyst began to doubt their own abilities, leading to severe anxiety and a decline in job satisfaction. In another case, a marketing executive experienced gaslighting from a co-worker who was competing for a promotion. The co-worker would manipulate information and situations to make the executive question their own decisions and memory. Over time, the executive's confidence was eroded and they began to make mistakes, ultimately affecting their career progression. A healthcare professional faced psychological bullying in the form of the silent treatment from their team leader. The leader would exclude the professional from important meetings and discussions, making them feel isolated and undervalued. This lack of communication led to missed opportunities and a significant decline in the professional's morale and productivity. These case studies highlight the subtle yet powerful impact of psychological bullying. They demonstrate the need for organisations to be vigilant in identifying and addressing such behaviours to protect their employees' mental health and well-being. The impact of psychological bullying on employee well-being the impact of psychological bullying on employee well-being can be profound and far-reaching. Victims often experience a range of emotional and psychological issues, including anxiety, depression and stress. The constant manipulation and belittlement can lead to a loss of self-esteem and self-worth, making it difficult for the victim to perform their job effectively. According to a 2021 study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, employees who experience psychological bullying are more likely to suffer from chronic stress and mental health disorders. This can result in increased absenteeism, higher turnover rates and decreased productivity, ultimately affecting the organisation's bottom line. The effects of psychological bullying can also extend beyond the workplace. Victims may struggle with personal relationships and find it challenging to trust others. The emotional toll can lead to physical health problems, such as headaches, sleep disturbances and even cardiovascular issues. The cumulative impact on the victim's overall quality of life can be devastating. To mitigate these effects, organisations must prioritise mental health support and create a culture of respect and inclusion. Providing access to counselling services, mental health resources and stress management programmes can help employees cope with the impact of psychological bullying. Additionally, fostering an environment where employees feel safe to report bullying and seek support is crucial for maintaining their well-being. Strategies for addressing psychological bullying. Addressing psychological bullying requires a comprehensive and proactive approach. Organisations must implement clear policies that define and prohibit bullying behaviours, including psychological manipulation. These policies should outline the steps for reporting incidents and the consequences for perpetrators, ensuring that all employees understand their rights and responsibilities. Training and education are essential components of an effective anti-bullying strategy. Providing regular training sessions on recognising and addressing psychological bullying can equip employees and managers with the knowledge and skills to identify and respond to such behaviours. This training should also emphasise the importance of empathy, respect and effective communication. Creating a supportive reporting environment is crucial for addressing psychological bullying. Organisations should establish multiple channels for reporting incidents, such as anonymous hotlines, online reporting systems and open door policies with HR. Ensuring that employees feel safe and supported when reporting bullying is key to addressing the issue effectively. Finally, organisations must commit to fostering a positive workplace culture. This involves promoting values of respect, inclusion and collaboration. Leadership plays a vital role in setting the tone for the organisation and modelling appropriate behaviour. By prioritising employee well-being and creating a culture of respect, organisations can effectively combat psychological bullying and create a safer, more inclusive work environment. Recognising the signs of workplace bullying. 
Recognising the signs of workplace bullying is the first critical step in addressing this pervasive issue. Often, victims may not immediately identify the behaviour as bullying, especially if it is subtle or psychological in nature. Therefore, understanding the various indicators can help both individuals and organisations to take timely action. Common signs of bullying include frequent and unjustified criticism, exclusion from meetings or team activities, spreading malicious rumours and assigning impossible tasks. A bullied employee may experience sudden changes in their behaviour, such as increased absenteeism, decreased productivity and noticeable stress or anxiety. These behavioural shifts often signal that something is amiss. Another sign is the presence of a toxic work environment where fear and distrust are prevalent. If employees are reluctant to speak up during meetings, avoid certain colleagues or exhibit signs of discomfort and stress, these could be red flags. In such environments, the morale of the team as a whole can suffer, leading to a decline in overall productivity and job satisfaction. It is also essential to listen to employees' feedback and concerns. Open communication channels where employees feel safe to report their experiences without fear of retaliation are critical. Employers should actively encourage a culture of transparency and support, ensuring that everyone feels heard and valued. Recognising these signs early can prevent bullying from escalating and help maintain a healthy and productive workplace. Strategies for individuals to combat workplace bullying. For individuals facing workplace bullying, taking proactive steps is crucial to mitigate its impact. One of the first strategies is to document every incident meticulously, keeping a record of dates, times, what was said or done, and any witnesses can provide concrete evidence if the situation needs to be escalated. Another effective approach is to assertively communicate with the bully. This involves calmly and confidently addressing the behaviour directly, expressing how it impacts you and requesting that it stop. Sometimes bullies are unaware of the harm they are causing and a direct conversation can be a powerful deterrent. However, this approach requires careful consideration of the potential risks and the individual's safety. Seeking support from trusted colleagues, friends or family members can also be beneficial. Sharing your experiences and gaining emotional support can help alleviate some of the stress associated with bullying. Additionally, talking to a mentor or a professional coach can provide guidance on how to navigate the situation effectively. Finally, if the bullying persists, it is essential to escalate the issue to human resources or higher management. Utilise the organisation's formal complaint process, presenting your documented evidence Ensuring that the complaint is handled confidentially and professionally is crucial for a fair resolution. By taking these steps, individuals can protect themselves and help foster a more respectful and supportive workplace environment. Organisational approaches to mitigating workplace bullying Organisations play a pivotal role in preventing and addressing workplace bullying. Establishing clear policies that define and prohibit bullying behaviours is fundamental. These policies should outline the procedures for reporting bullying and the consequences for perpetrators. Regularly reviewing and updating these policies ensures they remain relevant and effective. Training and education are equally important. Providing comprehensive training for all employees on identifying, preventing and addressing bullying can create a more aware and proactive workforce. Managers and leaders should receive additional training on how to handle reports of bullying and support affected employees appropriately. Creating a supportive and inclusive culture is also vital. Organisations should promote values of respect, empathy and collaboration. Recognising and rewarding positive behaviour reinforces these values and sets a standard for expected conduct. Encouraging open communication and providing multiple channels for reporting bullying can help ensure that employees feel safe and supported. Moreover, offering support resources such as counselling services, employee assistance programmes and stress management workshops can help victims cope with the impact 
of bullying. By fostering a culture of respect and providing the necessary tools and resources, organisations can effectively mitigate workplace bullying and create a healthier, more productive work environment. The role of M Yoga Coaching and Consulting in Combating Workplace Bullying At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we understand the profound impact that workplace bullying can have on individuals and organisations. Our mission is to provide the support and strategies needed to combat this issue effectively, ensuring a safer and more empowering work environment for all. Our comprehensive coaching programmes are designed to equip individuals with the skills and confidence to address bullying head-on. We offer personalised coaching sessions that help victims of bullying develop coping strategies, improve their assertiveness and rebuild their confidence. Our experts provide guidance on navigating the complexities of workplace dynamics and handling difficult conversations. For organisations, we offer tailored consulting services that help create and implement robust anti-bullying policies and training programmes. Our workshops educate employees and managers on recognising and preventing bullying, fostering a culture of respect and inclusion. We also conduct organisational assessments to identify potential risk areas and recommend improvements. Moreover, we provide ongoing support through our resources, including webinars, articles and support groups. Our goal is to create a continuous learning environment where everyone feels empowered to contribute to a positive workplace culture. By partnering with us, Organisations can demonstrate their commitment to employee well-being and build a reputation as a desirable place to work. In conclusion, M Yoga Coaching and Consulting is your strongest ally in the fight against workplace bullying. We are dedicated to helping individuals and organisations overcome these challenges and achieve career excellence. Together, we can create a safer, more respectful and productive work environment. Summarising Key Points Throughout this video we have explored the multifaceted issue of workplace bullying in depth. We began by defining workplace bullying and highlighting its pervasiveness across different sectors. By understanding that bullying is a repeated health-harming mistreatment, we acknowledge the various forms it can take – physical, verbal, relational, cyber and psychological. Each form, though distinct, contributes to a toxic work environment that impairs both individual well-being and organisational productivity. We delved into specific forms of bullying, such as physical and verbal bullying, illustrating their immediate impacts on victims. Historical examples, like the cases of Enron and Henry Ford's assembly lines, served as cautionary tales, emphasising the destructive potential of unchecked bullying. We then examined relational and cyberbullying, using real-life stories to show how these modern manifestations can be equally damaging, if not more so due to their subtlety and the anonymity provided by digital platforms. The discussion on psychological bullying highlighted the insidious nature of manipulative tactics like gaslighting and constant criticism. Through case studies and research, we demonstrated the severe impact these behaviours can have on an individual's mental health and overall quality of life. Recognising the signs of workplace bullying and implementing strategies to combat it, whether through individual actions or organisational policies, emerged as crucial steps in fostering a safer work environment. By examining these different aspects of workplace bullying, we have laid a comprehensive foundation for understanding and addressing this pervasive issue. Our exploration underscored the importance of proactive measures and support systems in protecting employees and creating a positive organisational culture. Reaffirming Mjoga Coaching and Consulting's role. In tackling workplace bullying, Mjoga Coaching and Consulting stands out as a pivotal ally. Our expertise in providing tailored coaching and consulting services makes us uniquely equipped to address the challenges posed by workplace bullying. Our approach is holistic, focusing on both individual empowerment and organisational transformation to ensure a comprehensive solution to bullying. We offer personalised coaching sessions that help victims of bullying regain their confidence and develop effective coping strategies. 
Our coaching programs are designed to foster resilience and assertiveness, enabling individuals to navigate and overcome hostile work environments. Additionally, our expert guidance supports victims in handling difficult conversations and interactions, ensuring they feel empowered to stand up against bullying. For organisations, our consulting services provide the tools and frameworks necessary to establish a culture of respect and inclusion. We assist in creating and implementing robust anti-bullying policies, conducting training workshops and performing organisational assessments to identify and mitigate bullying risks. Our proactive approach ensures that organisations are not only reacting to incidents of bullying, but are also preventing them from happening in the first place. Our commitment to ongoing support through resources such as webinars, articles and support groups ensures that both individuals and organisations receive continuous guidance. By partnering with us, companies can demonstrate their dedication to employee well-being, fostering a positive reputation and attracting top talent. M Yoga Coaching and Consulting is dedicated to helping you achieve a safer, more respectful and productive work environment. Invitation to a complimentary career breakthrough call. We've explored the detrimental effects of workplace bullying and the critical importance of addressing this issue head on. As we conclude, MJOGA Coaching and Consulting invites you to take the first step towards a safer and more fulfilling work environment by scheduling a complimentary career breakthrough call with us. This call is an opportunity to discuss your specific challenges, explore tailored solutions and begin your journey towards a healthier workplace. Our expert coach and consultant are ready to provide you with actionable insights and strategies to combat workplace bullying effectively. Whether you are an individual seeking support or an organisation aiming to foster a positive culture, our team is here to help. The Complementary Career Breakthrough Call is your gateway to accessing the comprehensive support and guidance that M Yoga Coaching and Consulting offers. In conclusion, workplace bullying is a significant issue that requires immediate and sustained attention. By partnering with M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, you are taking a proactive step towards creating a safer and more empowering work environment. We stand by you in this journey, committed to helping you achieve career excellence and fostering a culture of respect and collaboration. Let us remind ourselves of a powerful quote by Robert Sutton from the No Asshole Rule. The best organisations have zero tolerance for bullying because they know that respect and kindness lead to success. Join us in this mission to eradicate workplace bullying and build a brighter future for all. Schedule your complimentary career breakthrough call today and take the first step towards a safer, more respectful and thriving workplace. Throughout history, the concept of bullying has been a recurring theme, even in ancient mythology. These stories from Greek, Roman and Norse mythology not only entertain but also offer profound lessons that resonate with modern workplace scenarios. Let's begin with Greek mythology. The tale of Prometheus serves as a powerful example. Prometheus, a titan, defied Zeus by giving fire to humanity, empowering them with knowledge and progress. In retaliation, Zeus subjected Prometheus to eternal torment, chaining him to a rock where an eagle would eat his liver daily. This story mirrors modern workplace bullying, where individuals who challenge the status quo or bring innovative ideas can face severe backlash from those in power. Next, we explore Roman mythology and the story of Juno and Hercules. Juno, the queen of the gods, harboured an intense jealousy and hatred for Hercules, the son of her husband Jupiter and a mortal woman. Despite Hercules' many accomplishments and heroic deeds, Juno's relentless harassment and schemes to undermine him reflect the destructive nature of envy and resentment that can exist in professional settings. Lastly, we delve into Norse mythology with the tale of Loki and Baldur. Loki, driven by jealousy and spite, orchestrated the death of Baldur, the beloved god of light and purity. Loki's actions, fueled by malice and deceit, highlight the insidious nature of relational bullying, where individuals may resort to manipulation and betrayal to harm those they perceive as threats. These ancient myths underscore the timeless nature of bullying and its devastating effects. They remind us that power dynamics, jealousy and malice have always been part of human interactions. 
By drawing parallels between these mythical tales and modern workplaces, we gain valuable insights into the importance of fostering a culture of respect, empathy and collaboration. As we reflect on these stories, let us remember that workplace bullying is not a new phenomenon, but a challenge that has persisted through the ages. It is up to us to learn from these ancient lessons and take proactive steps to create a safer, more supportive work environment for all. As we continue our journey through the annals of history, we find that ancient mythology not only highlights the presence of bullying, but also offers powerful narratives of overcoming adversity. These timeless stories from Egyptian, Hindu and Chinese mythology provide profound lessons that inspire modern solutions to workplace bullying. Let's begin with Egyptian mythology and the story of Isis and Osiris. Osiris, the god of the afterlife, was betrayed and murdered by his jealous brother Set. However, with the unwavering determination and resilience of Isis, Osiris's wife, he was resurrected. Isis's tireless efforts to piece Osiris back together symbolize the power of unity, support and perseverance in overcoming hostile forces. In a modern workplace, this tale encourages us to band together, support each other and rebuild a positive environment even after facing severe challenges. Next, we explore Hindu mythology with the story of Lord Krishna and Kamsa. Kamsa, a tyrannical ruler, sought to kill Krishna from the moment of his birth due to a prophecy that Krishna would be his downfall. Despite numerous attempts on his life, Krishna grew up to confront and defeat Kamsa, liberating the people from his oppressive reign. This narrative exemplifies the triumph of good over evil and the importance of standing up against tyrannical forces. In the workplace, it reminds us to remain steadfast and courageous in the face of intimidation and to work towards dismantling toxic power structures. Finally, we delve into Chinese mythology with the tale of the Monkey King, Sun Wukong. Known for his rebellious spirit and extraordinary abilities, Sun Wukong was often at odds with the celestial authorities. However, through self-realization and guidance from the Buddha, he transformed from a troublemaker into a protector and hero. This story highlights the potential for personal growth and redemption. In the context of workplace bullying, it suggests that even those who may initially contribute to a toxic environment can change and become advocates for a healthier, more respectful workplace. These ancient myths not only illustrate the enduring nature of bullying, but also offer powerful narratives of resilience, courage and transformation. By drawing inspiration from these stories, we can find modern solutions to address and overcome workplace bullying. Let us take these lessons to heart and work together to create a supportive, empowering work environment for all.